Hi guys, this is more of a personal video. Basically I'm going to set myself a 10 minute challenge to get Windows XP in a virtual machine running on as little RAM as possible. Now I've got VMware tools running in the corner, I need to keep that going so you guys can see what I'm doing. But other than that I'm just going to pretty much disable everything. So you can see the tips I'm doing as I go along, you can feel free to apply them to your own system but I'll end up disabling real core things so I don't take it too literally and don't go too far in and end up disabling things you won't be able to use your computer for. So uh, we'll start with the RAM usage, we'll see how much it's using now. It's using 81.4ish um, and we'll see how low I can get this. So uh, let's begin, I'm going to get rid of this wallpaper because that uses resources. Okay and then I'm going to get rid of this uh, candy, eye candy. I'm just going to go to my computer, I'll right click properties advanced, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and uh, visual effects, just for best performance, ok and I'm then going to disable the theme service so this is done with C uh, themes I'm looking for there we go, I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to disable it ok uh, next thing I'm going to do is get rid of these annoying alerts. So we'll start with automatic updates. We're going to turn them off. Um, automatic updates disable, and then we're going to get an error here. And then I'm going to turn off this flipping security center. In fact, I'll do it for the services again. So this is MSC. Quit that bit. Go down to security center. Now obviously, you you wouldn't want to disable this normally, but this is just for pure testing to see how much RAM I'm going to save by doing this. Um, next up, hmm, making the classic logon. Uh, we'll go reg edit. This um, may consume, may um, make it less. we we'll search for theme active. Uh, I'll let that search for the time being. Um, what else haven't I finished? Uh, so it's in classic view already, that's okay. There we go, theme active. Change it to naught on all of them. Active naught. And theme active is naught. Um, Windows Messenger is irritating, so I'm going to get rid of that. In fact, I can do that by removing components. So I'm going to go into Add Remove Programs, Components, and I'm just going to remove everything that's in here. And then I'll start disabling other services. So, uh, no, we don't want them. Or Internet Explorer, or MSN Explorer, or Networking, Outlook Express, Update Route, Windows Media Player, and Windows Messenger. So, get rid of them. Uh, while that's doing that, I'm going to start disabling some more services, I think. We'll start disabling the unneeded ones first. I'll maximise this. Uh, put this backwards a little bit. So, the ones that are actually being used now started Application Layer Gateway Interface. Uh, Internet Connection Sharing now, we don't want that, do we? Save it. Uh, all Mac updates, definitely not. It's a very unneeded service for what we're doing. Cryptographic services, no. Oops, disable. Distributed link, get rid of that. Uh, DNS will keep, DHCP will keep. Error reporting service, no. If you can get this um, lower than I can, then let me know. Fast user switching, that's a good point. I need to turn off the fast user switching. Oh, I think I can just do it in the service anyway. Save all that. Yeah, I need to change the log, um, log on to classic. And the user accounts. User welcome screen off, so it'll do the old school screen. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, IP6 servers in there. Because I've removed Internet Explorer, I may not be able to um, access the internet when I come back on, but I'll have a go anyway, might as well. Network connections? No. I'll say we'll connect, uh, internet connection sharing, that's fine. Off, uh, print spooler, well, we don't have a printer, so. Plug and play. Uh, no. Say, will that, okay. Secondary logon, well, we don't have anyone else logging onto this. I've um, basically done a snapshot anyway of uh, when it was back to when it was normal, so this is just test purposes really. 
A remote registry, I think that was a security flaw in here. Uh, we don't do any file sharing, so we don't need server. Uh, system event notification, no. Uh, task scheduler, no. Uh, system restore, no. Shell hardware detection, what does that do? Provides notification, no. Uh, web client. Uh, had to, I tried to do this before and that didn't work properly, so I'm going to go on to Windows Audio. So we'll have no sound from now on. I'll have to say with Windows Audio. Windows Management uh, about operating system device. This, uh, window, most Windows based software will not function properly. Alright, I'll keep this then. Uh, Windows Time. There is a way to access um, the internet if you don't have Internet Explorer ex installed, so uh, that's disabled anyway. Logical Disk Manager, that just displays it in Control Panel, so we don't need that. Um, wireless, we don't need, because we don't have a wireless on it. Uh, web Client, I have a go with Web Client again. Enables Windows based programs to create and access. Oh, it did disable it, good. Uh, TCP IP for NetBIOS, nope, that's for networking, we don't need that. Uh, SSDP Discovery, no. Okay, uh, VMware tools we need to keep, remote procedure we need to keep, protected storage we don't need. Wonderful blue screen, I don't think we will. Terminal services, no. It now uses to be connected interactively to a machine as well as a display of desktops to remote computers, no, we don't need that. Uh, security accounts, no. Uh, remote procedure, yes. Plug and play, no. That's already disabled. Network location awareness. No. We may not have internet access when we come back onto here. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Workstation. Creates maintains clock. No. Okay. Security accounts. I've already disabled that. Um, what ones are automatic? Windows. Remote procedure. DNS client. Uh, result. What does it do? Resolves. And caches. Domain services. DHCP manages network configuration by registering an update. I think this will allow me to go on the internet. So, how many have we got? One um, that aren't disabled. Let's come back a bit. The ones that start up are one, two, three, four, five, six services we've got that are going to start up. So, the components is now finished. Uh, we won't restart it yet. And is that it? I think it may be it for it. So, I'm now going to, as you can see, we've got no internet next for a browser anymore. Uh, now going to restart the computer. Notice that the logon's different now. That's the last you'll probably hear of the sound because I've disabled the audio. So, wow, that shut down quickly. <laughs> oh dear! Oh no! I thought, <laughs> I thought we wouldn't have seen a wouldn't see a boot screen then. So it was using something like 80, wasn't it? 81? Something like that. We shall see. If you can get this lower, please post a response or something, because I'd like to see how low you can actually get this, just as a test. Probably try this on Windows Vista as well. I'm sure people have tried this before anyway. I know that I've seen a website where someone put it on like 16 megabytes of RAM, but that was in the computer. Um, this is different. So. I'll wait for it to start up properly. VMware tools to activate. No, it won't bother doing that. And it won't take a tour. And the resources we're using are 54 megabytes. So I've got it down to 54. I'm going to do another quick tweak if I can start the start menu. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to try connecting to a website. What we do is my computer, go on Google. Oh, and it works. Excellent. <laughs> Google works. So we can still access websites. I'm going to do a quick uh, thing here and I'm going to pause the video while I do it. I'm just going to alter the page file to do 50 megabytes. Hi right, guys, we're back and it hasn't changed it. It still says 54. So uh, this is the lowest um, that I can get. So thanks for watching my video. If you can get this lower then please let me know. Leave a video response or if you now have any tweaks that I've missed. Uh, thanks for watching my video. If you like my videos please comment, rate and subscribe and thanks again.